Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we are so thankful that we get to share your word, have a few moments with it, to learn and grow in our understanding and just our ability to see this day through in a way that's right. Lord, we're also learning we don't have all the answers, but we're sure learning that you do. But we get it into our head that our answers are really good, that we're really smart, and we get self-satisfied and self-righteous pretty quick. We pat ourselves on the back for our cleverness and reward ourselves for our greed and selfishness. And we admire ourselves for all the things we've got accumulated to ourselves and the castles we've built and the, the heavens we've made. And somewhere along the way, oh Lord, we forget you. And we forget your son. And we forget your love. So Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us this day and each day that we do it. Because we don't just do it once. Lord, forgive us and set us on a path that is right, that is guided by your word, that allows us to be, Lord, that, that humbles us, sets us up again as those servants you call to be, as you call us to serve all people. Lord, let us embrace, tr embrace truth as it comes from you, as it speaks from your word, as your Holy, Holy Spirit speaks to our very, the very core of our being, our very souls, that it may be and always do as we offer healing and hope and understanding and the and the good news of the kingdom lord as we do all this that we do it to your glory and your praise and we live as the faithful people you made us to be and all this we pray in christ jesus name amen and so today in our devotion we turn to the book of matthew reading in chapter 10 at verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And I know everyone just all of a sudden says, ah, point to the devil on that one that great villainous foe. It's not simply of giving evil a character and blaming everything, all our faults, all our mistakes on someone else. We start pointing at the devil for all the evil in our lives and then it's an easy transition to start pointing at other people as the devils and blaming them for all the mistakes and the troubles of our lives. When we look at our souls, at our lives, and where our respect lies in life, and what we're concerned about, our health, our well-being, our control, we are concerned about what might cost us our life or our livelihoods. But is that the definition of who we are? Is that the, the definition of our soul, our livelihoods, our, our money, our resources? Is, is that who we are? Our faith, our ability to love. We don't have to wait for hell for that to be destroyed. If we let fear and doubt of the people around us, of the world around us, of the conditions around us, if we let our fear of that control how we live our lives, then we're already in hell. And we don't need to fear the devil anymore because what's really destroying our, our own souls, our own beings, is our own way of being. But we are offered a way in Christ who is our way. To follow him who doesn't destroy our lives, but builds them up. Calls them, even in the face of death, to eternal life 
everlasting life. So what have we to fear? We don't even need to fear the ones that kill the body because they cannot touch the soul that is on fire for the Lord, that believes in Christ, that trusts in him, that loves, that loves God and loves in his name. God bless and keep you. And may you know the love of Christ in your life. Amen.